What's going on YouTube? Art out Dan here. Just thought I'd post an update video to uh, the other one I posted the other day. Pretty much the one where I was complaining and being a baby. Uh, sorry for having a bad day. I'm not sorry for having a bad day. I'm going to have bad days. But uh, there's no need to, to rant and complain. You know, I'm trying to focus more on positivity and finding the solution to things. And I, I did actually did get a lot of emails from people that were uh, kind enough to say some kind words to me. But after thinking about it and looking at my situation versus other people's situations, and man, just got an email from a lady. Uh, she emailed me for her boyfriend. Um, he got sentenced to 108 months. 108 months. That's a long freaking time. Um, and she's, you know, curious on how much time is he going to get off and good time and this and that. RDAP, is he going to qualify for RDAP? Is he going to get time off for RDAP? And uh, after thinking about it, it's just like, God, his good time that he gets off of that, 15%, he gets more good time off than I actually served on my whole sentence. And here I am complaining about, you know, the situation I'm in. And the situation I'm in where I'm, I'm, I'm out of prison I have a job, I have a girlfriend, I have dogs, I have children. Um, I've got a lot of things to be grateful for, and it could be a whole lot worse. Sure, I wish it was a whole lot better, but keyword is there, it uh, could be a whole lot worse. Um, and we just went out of focus and we're back. All right. So, yeah, so I am grateful for the opportunity that I have. I'm grateful that. I have the ability to come on here and talk to you guys and I love getting the emails and the feedback and the questions and you know it's sad to see how many people are facing similar similar situations uh, going to federal prison and just that knowing of the fear that you're going through right now of the uncertainty of what's next it seems like this super dark tunnel and you have no idea what to expect unless you know somebody that's gone through it. Um, for the people that I'm talking to, they haven't really spoken to anybody or they don't know anybody that's gone through it, so they don't know what to expect. So that's why I make these videos because I know how I felt at that time and everybody I tried to talk to, it was a quick answer that was very open-ended and it pretty much led into how much money do you have because your questions are going to cost. And I didn't have any money, so I had to wait till I got to prison to find out that it wasn't as bad as I had built it up to be. Now, there's a lot of RDAP questions that I'm getting. And a lot of the questions are uh, getting the time off for RDAP. You can get into RDAP. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the time off of RDAP. If you have violence especially on your current crime, if you're what you're being charged for right now, if you have a gun on that case, whether you use the gun, possession of gun, uh, use of the gun may disqualify you from RDAP altogether. Possession of the gun is possibly going to let you into RDAP, but you're not going to get qualified for the time off of RDAP. Um, you have to be able to go to halfway house. If you can't get halfway house for any reason at all, you don't have enough time left, you've got open detainers, you've got other charges, you're getting deported, whatever it is, if you can't go to halfway house, you can't go to RDAP. So that answers that question right out the gate. Um, if anybody wants some RDAP material on all of the specifics, what disqualifies you, what qualifies you, what's expected out of the program, just everything from A to Z on RDAP. I've got a nifty little PDF that uh, I found on the internet. And if you email me, rdapdan at gmail.com, rdapdan at gmail.com, or go to my website, federalprisontime.com, and shoot me a contact message through there, um, I'll be more than happy to send that to you. Uh, it's not going to cost you anything. Um, any information that I can give you guys is going to be free information. Um, I do work with a couple of different consultants that are reputable. In my opinion, they're reputable because of the information that they're providing seems to be very valid. 
but that's more for the type of client that has more specific needs, maybe needs them to work with their attorney for some additional things, they want to write a book, um, they're trying to get transferred from different prisons, trying to make sure they go to a certain prison. So in a situation like that, there are some good, uh, there are some good people out there that can help you with that and I can point you in the right direction for that as well if you uh, contact me through here. But for the generalization, to make yourself feel better, to know what you're getting into, to know what's next, um, if you just have some RDAP questions and how do you get into RDAP, there's no there's no need to charge anybody for that because it's not it's not some secret you know it's just information um, and I want you guys to be able to feel comfortable bringing your questions to me and not feeling like you're gonna get nickel and dime to death not to say if you want to send me a donation I'm gonna turn down your donation you can always go to my website and there's a donate now tab on there you know I'm not gonna turn away somebody that's like hey that's great information you know here's 50 cents so PayPal will take most of that so I'll probably get like 8 cents out of that but the point is is donations are accepted but that's not why I'm doing these videos that's not why I started these videos um, I didn't expect to get any hits on these videos at all and those of you that saw my first video was uh, prior to me going to prison and there was no intentions on there other than making myself feel better and a little bit of a rant a little bit of a woe is me you know boohoo but RDAP for me changed my entire perspective my DTS uh, her name is Miss Neesmith if any of you have the opportunity and you go to Coleman Low is where I was at um, you don't really get to pick your DTS but you can tell your DTS that you know RDAP Dan and he says I hope she becomes your DTS because uh, she was probably, in my opinion, the most sincere DTS that worked there. She actually cared about what you were doing with your day to day, not just RDAP policy and RDAP politics and doing the right thing in the eyes of RDAP. She dug in deep into my life and helped me realize some things that she didn't need to waste her time doing. <coughs> excuse me, if she didn't care. Um, I doubt these people make a ton of money. Uh, maybe they make more money than I think, but the fact that she puts all this effort in, and it's gotta be mentally exhausting on her side as well, because there's some straight up fools that are in RDAP that are just playing a game in there and, and trying to mess up your time, mess up everybody else's time, and just wasting your time. So there are some good people out there uh, Miss Neesmith, if you ever watch my videos, I hope you see this one because it's talking about you. And Dr. Smith, she's the RDAP coordinator at Coleman Low. She was also amazing, very fair, uh, never took sides. She was just consistent. Scary at times, but consistent. Um, I keep my RDAP band on. I told you guys this. Uh, I recommend when you get out of federal prison, tie something to yourself, not literally, but physically, mentally. A lot of people say, when I leave prison, I'm burning everything. I don't ever want to remember. Keep it on your mind, man, because there's going to be a time when you're going to have some shitty thoughts and you're going to not have the best rational thinking in that moment. And if you don't have something safety to jump to, a person, an item, something to remind you of what you went through to get to where you are now. So those of you that are being proactive, trying to get into RDAP, whether you're trying to get into it for the time off or you're trying to get into it for the benefit, um, it doesn't really matter because if you go through RDAP, I don't care what your reason is right now. If you make it through RDAP, it's not easy. If you make it through, graduate, hold up that RDAP diploma, uh, you got something out of it regardless what your intentions are today. doesn't mean you're going to have the same intentions uh, a year from now. So, dap or die. I hope you guys make it into RDAP. If you don't get the time off, but you still have the opportunity to go through the program, take the residential RDAP if you can. If you can't, there's a non-residential RDAP on most compounds. Take the non-residential. Get what you can out of it because you have nothing else but time to do. Um, for those of you that have sent me the nice emails and the questions and the concerns and the comments, and thank you guys for helping me grow my YouTube page because it is spreading the word more and more. Um, I'm putting some effort and some time into 
marketing this a little bit more to put the information out there so people can find it, have access to it. So email me if you need anything at all, r.dan at gmail.com, federalprisontime.com. Like my page, share my page, and as always, subscribe to my page. All right, guys, r.dan. See you later.